Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us now move to destiny. Let us revise the properties and then establish the conversion of fractions into decimals and decimals to fractions. Consider a non-decimal number, say 253. Then we already know that in expanded form this can be written as 2 times 100 plus 5 times 10 plus 3 times 1. Now consider the decimal number 253.417. Here the decimal point separates the units place from the tenths place. And in expanded form, it can be written as 2 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into 1 by 10 plus 1 into 1 by 100 plus 7 into 1 by let us revise how to compare two decimals. Consider the number 22.1 and 18.9. We know that the number with the bigger whole number portion is bigger. Here 22 is bigger than 18 so 22.1 is greater than 18.9. So the first rule is that the number with the bigger whole number portion is bigger. Now consider 0 0.82 and 0 0.656. If the whole number portion is the same Compare the tenths place. The decimal with bigger tenths place is bigger. So, 0.82 is bigger than 0.656. So, the second rule states, if the whole number portion is the same, compare the tenths place. The decimal with the bigger tenths place is bigger. Let us see what will happen if tenths place is same. Say we have 0 0.65 and 0 0.63. If the whole number place is same and the tenths place is also same, then compare the hundredth place. The decimal with the bigger hundredth place is bigger. So this implies that 0 0.65 is bigger than 0 0.63. So the third rule is that if the whole number portion as well as the tenth place is the same, compare the hundredth place. The decimal with the bigger hundredth place is bigger. Similarly, we can continue. Look at the number 0 0.743 and 0 0.741. Whole number places are same. Tenth places are same. Hundredth place is same. Then the thousandth place is compared. The decimal with the bigger thousandth place will be bigger 
and hence 0.743 is greater than 0.741. Decimals are very useful in converting lower units of money, length, distances, weights and capacity to their higher units. Let us take the case of money. We know that 100 pesa is equal to 1 rupee. Then 1 pesa is equal to 100th of a rupee which can also be written as rupees 0 0.01 Similarly 5 pesa is same as 5 by 100 rupees This implies this, that 5 is on the 100th place and it can be written as rupees 0 0.05. Decimals thus help us in writing figures like 25 rupees, 85 pesa as Rupees 25.85. Similarly, in case of length, it will be useful in converting centimeters to meters. In case of distance, again centimeter to meter or meter to kilometer. In case of weight, from grams to kilogram and for capacity milliliters to liters. For instance, since 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter, then 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liters, which is same as 0 0.001 liter. Similarly, 5 ml can be written as 5 by 1000 liters which is same as 0 0.005 liters. Let us check out how to convert decimal to fraction. Say we have 2.5. This is same as 2.5 by 1. Now count the number of digits after the decimal. Remove the decimal and put those many zeros in the denominator. So 2.5 can be written as 25 by 10. Similarly 0 0.5 will be same as 0 0.5 by 1 removing the decimal put one zero and we can write 0 0.5 as 5 by 10. Let us take another example say 12.33 again 12.33 is same as 12.33 by 1 now remove the decimal two digits after the decimal so two zeros and hence it is same as 1233 by 100. Similarly, 0 0.527 is same as 527 by 1000. Let us now see how to convert fraction into decimal. When the division is done by 10, 100 or 1000, say we take 2 by 10. Then 2 by 10 means that the number of places 
after the decimal point should be 1 so it can be written as 0 0.2 similarly if we have 32 by 100 this means number of places after the decimal point is equal to 2 so answer will be 0 0.32 let us take an example where division is by 1000 see we have 56 by 1000 now this means that number of places after the decimal point should be 3 but we have only 2 digits in the numerator we can put a 0 in front of the number and get 0 0.056 as the required answer so here we note that number of places after the decimal is the same as the number of zeros in the denominator here two places have denominator is 100 three places after decimal as denominator is 1000 let us take some more example say we have 8 by 1000 that means we want three digits after the decimal point but in the numerator we only have one digit now putting two zeros in front of eight will not change its value but it will solve our purpose and now answer will be 0 0.008 what about 32 by 10 it should have only one digit after the decimal so the answer will be 